Once you are doing something, make sure you are focused. Once you start building something, make sure that you finish it. The continent of Africa is endowed with brilliant minds, prosperous business people, and career-minded individuals. The richest people on the continent don't rely on a single source of income. Instead, they have a variety of interests. In this video, you will be learning about the wealthiest persons in Africa and how they acquired it. Either dead or alive, they have not only maintained their wealth, but also increased it. Here's a list of the 10 richest richest Africans to ever live. Number 10 on our list is Onsi Sawiris. At the age of 91, Onsi Sawiris passed away on June 2021. He was born on August 14, 1930. He was a businessman from Egypt. He was the founding father of Orascom Group and the patriarch of the Sawiris family. The late business tycoon was the father of the billionaires Sami Sawiris, Nagui Sawiris, and Nasef Sawiris. His sons are in charge of the Orascom Group's construction, telecommunication, technology, and industrial divisions. He was worth an estimated 3.4 billion dollars. Number 9 on our list is Isad Rebrab. In 1944, Isad Rebrab was born. He is a multi-billionaire businessman from Algeria who serves as CEO of Civital Industrial Group, the country's largest private corporation and a player in the steel, food, agro and electronics industries. One of the biggest sugar refineries in the world, owned by Civital, can produce 2 million tons of sugar annually. The French home appliance manufacturer group, Brandt, an Italian steel mill, and the German water purification firm are just a few of the European businesses owned by Civital. Rebrab was released on January 1st, 2020, after serving eight months in prison on corruption related offenses. He claims he did nothing wrong. He's thought to be worth $5.1 billion. Number 8 on our list is Mike Adenuga. On April 28, 1953, Michael Adeniyi Agbolade Ishola Adenuga Jr. was born. He is the third richest individual in Nigeria and a billionaire businessman. His business, Globacom, is the second largest telecom provider in Nigeria and is also active in Ghana and the Benin Republic. He is a shareholder in both the oil exploration company, Corn Oil, and the Equatorial Trust Bank. Six oil blocks are run by his oil exploration company. Company, Konoye producing in the Niger Delta. At Pace University in New York, Adenuga earned an MBA while supporting himself as a student by driving cabs. At the age of 26, he sold lace and distributed soft drinks, earning his first million dollars. He also runs one of Nigeria's largest film production companies. He is reportedly worth $6.7 billion. Number 7 on our list is Mahmoud El Arabi. Mahmoud El Arabi was a philanthropist and a businessman from Egypt. In 1964, he established the El Arabi Group, a business that produces and sells customer electronics and home appliances in Egypt and the Middle East. Mahmoud El Arabi, a renowned Egyptian businessman, died at the age of 89 in the first few days of September. A $6.9 billion net worth was left behind. Number 6 on our list is Abdul Samad Rabiu. On August 4, 1960, Abdul Samad Isiaku Rabiu was born. He is the second richest person in Nigeria and a millionaire businessman who is also a philanthropist. In the 1970s and 1980s, Khalifa Isiaku Rabiu, his late father, was a leading industrialist in Nigeria. The founder and chairman of the Nigerian conglomerate BUA Group, which focuses on manufacturing infrastructure and agriculture and generates annual revenues. Of more than 2.5 billion dollars. He has an estimated 7 billion dollars worth and is involved in the real estate industry. In addition, he oversees the Nigerian Bank of Industry. Early in January 2020, Rabiu combined his privately held with his controlled publicly traded cement company of the Northern Nigeria. Rabiu owns 98.5% of the combined company, which trades a BUA cement PLC on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The businessman's son, Rabiu, received land as he inherited. In 1988, he founded his own company and began importing chemicals, steel, and iron. 
Number five on our list is Nasef Sawiris. The date of Nasef Onsi Sawiris' birth is January 19, 1961. He's the youngest of Onsi Sawiris' three sons and a billionaire businessman from Egypt. His net worth was projected to be $8.6 billion as of October 2021, making him the richest Arab. Nasef Sawiris is an investor and a member of the richest family in Egypt. His almost 6% interest in sportswear manufacturer Adidas is his most significant asset. He purchased a 5% share in Madison Square Garden Sports, the company that owns the NBA Knicks and the NHL Rangers franchise, from the New York Stock Exchange in December 2020. He is the owner of OCI, one of the biggest producers of nitrogen fertilizers in the world, with facilities in Texas and Iowa. On the Euronext Amsterdam Exchange, it is traded. Engineering and construction company, Orascon Construction trades on the Cairo Exchange and Nassad Dubai. He holds shares in both Adidas and the world's largest cement company, Lafarge Honsim. He also serves on Adidas Super Vitry Board. Number 4 on our list is Nikki Opehima. On June 8, 1945, Nicholas Opehima was born. He is a multi billionaire businessman from South Africa. The Opehima family held a dominant position in the diamond trade for 85 years until 2012. In 2001, he turned De Beers private, making him the third generation of his family to oversee the business. His net worth is thought to be $8.7 billion. Opehima founded Fireblade Aviation in 2014, a company that flies charters out of Johannesburg. He owns at least 720 square miles of protected territory in Zimbabwe, Botswana, and South Africa. Number 3 on our list is Johan Peter Rupert. The first day of June 1950 saw the birth of Johan Peter Rupert. He is a billionaire businessman from South Africa and the oldest child of the business magnate Anton Rupert and his wife Hubert. His net worth is thought to be $11 billion. The chairman of the Swiss luxury goods company, Company Financier Richmond, is Johan Rupert. Katia and Mont Black are two of the company's best known brands. It was established in 1998 as as a result of the spin-off of assets from Rembrandt Group Limited, which his father Anto founded in the 1940s and is now known as Remgrow Limited. He shares Remgrow, a diversified investment company, and he owns 7% of it as well as 25% of Renet, a Luxembourg-based investment holding company. Rupert has recently taken a strong stance against proposal to permit fracking in the Cairo, a region of South Africa where he owns land. Number two on our list is Faraj Ahmed Abri. El Haj Faraj Ahmed Abri is a businessman from Tanzania and the creator of Asas Group. He was born in March 1966 and passed away on August 13th, 2021, when he was 55 years old. One of Tanzania's oldest and biggest corporate conglomerates, Asas Group was founded in 1978 and had divisions in petroleum distribution, dairy, real estate, and transportation. It is what an estimate estimated $15.5 billion. Number one on our list is Ali Kodangote. Ali Kodangote was born on the 10th of April 1957. He presently holds the title of the richest man in both his native Nigeria and all of Africa. He is worth an estimated $18.5 billion. Ali Kodangote created and currently heads Dangote Smith, the largest smith manufacturer on the continent. He owns 85% of publicly traded Dangote Smith through a holding company. The annual production of the smith by Dangote Smith which has operations in 10 African countries is 45.6 million metric tons. After several years of building, the Dangote fertilizer plant in Nigeria finally started producing fertilizer in the middle of 2021. Dangote refinery has been under construction since 2016. It will probably be one of the biggest oil refineries in the world when it's finished.